Hi girls, it's Liz, and if you know me, you know I love books, I love reading, and I've always loved reading. And I thought it'd be fun today to show you my American Girl bookshelf and other books I've collected over the years. I've gotten these books from Half Price Bookstore, Library Book Sales, um, Yard Sales, Goodwill, lots of places for very cheap. And a lot of the American Girl books I have are actually retired and you can't really buy anywhere but Amazon or eBay or other places online. So I thought it'd be fun to show you and let's get started. So first we're going to start out with my top shelf. And this is where I keep some of my American Girl craft books. And there's Kirsten's craft book. And Samantha's Friendship Fun. That's a very cute. I got these from a library book sale. And then Samantha's craft book. And then Kit's Friendship Fun. Let me see if I can get it out. <laughs> And then this one's really old and it's called Celebrate and it's holiday craft book. Very cute. I'm gonna set that aside. And then we have my Madame Alexander dolls and some of my favorites, which is The Search for One Lut, and it's by Tony Dizerlizzi. And this is one of my favorite science fiction novels, like with middle grade reading. And there's a second book. I love them. And just some other ones. This book, it's really funny because this book is Mr. Tuckett by Gary Paulson. And this book is what actually inspired me to do the Mini Kaya uh, stories, if you've read those. Because I was reading this at the time and it's like 1800s with settlers and uh, Native Americans. And it was a really, really good book. So that's what ins that is what inspired me to do that photo story. A lot of books inspire me with a lot of writing. But just some more books. I really love The Guardians of Gahul and The Spiderwick Chronicles. And just more Guardians and Narnia and Secret Garden and 39 Clues, which I still have yet to read, but I might read that sometime. And just a cute doll and candle. And here are some of my knickknacks. This is my Anna Green Gables doll. I got that from a yard sale. And I got Cecile Girl Mini Lance doll from Goodwill. These are all my really great finds. I've gotten most of these things from yard sailing and thrifting. Now on to my all of my American Girl books on this shelf. There's all of American Girl. This is Molly's Route 66 Adventure, and I love these. These are from, I don't know what the copyright is, 2000 something, but it's like a scrapbook. And they even have, uh, I didn't write that, that's like to Molly from her sister. And this book actually has like things that you can uh, like take out of the book. It's really neat. I love these a lot. It's really awesome. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put them back in. I'm just going to set it up there. Then we have Oh Brother, Oh Sister. That's the Anna Green Gables cookbook. I have a lot of cookbooks. There's another cookbook. <laughs> Here's Art Starts. And mystery fun book. I really love the fun books and all of the other kinds of books. There's the quiz one, puzzles. I have like tons and tons. This one's really cool because it's clever letters and it's how to write letters and how to make them unique. And there's the buttons. And these are all of the Smart Girls Guide books. Like all of these. The style. That's I love this one. Of fashion. And the babysitter's handbook. This one's all about sports. I'm just gonna go through these. There's a smart girl's guide to boys. That one was fun. Jewelry. 
And these are all just mysteries, minute mysteries. Some of the American Girl mysteries that are just not of the characters. I don't know what this one is. Oh, what would you do? And these are actually from uh, when Barnes & Noble had some of those. I have a lot of those. And there's Sage. And these are just all of the meat books. I have Sage and Felicity and Rebecca and Molly and Addie and just all of my dolls that came with the dolls. And here is Hopscotch Hill dolls that the American Girl used to sell. I found this one at Half Price Bookstore and thought it was very cute. And these are all the do-it-yourself books that came with, um, you know, the craft books. That's just all the books that came with that. And some of the Girl Mini Lands books and mysteries. The American Girl mysteries are my favorite. I've read a lot of those and they've always been my favorite compared to just the normal meat books and other series. I think I like the mysteries a lot better. And there's some just mini books. These are so cute because they're really small. There's Addy one. Here are all my Narnia books. I love the Narnia series. And there's the Meet Josephine. And here's a candle that my friends got me. I really love that. Moving on down the fourth shelf, I just have some books mixed in with some American Girl ones. Here's a craft book that I found, and I've gotten a lot of the inspiration for some of my crafts from this book. And it's by Kathy Ross. And it's not going to fit in there. Here's the American Girl Club's handbook. They used to have an American Girl Club back in... When was the copyright for this? I don't know if it has a copyright. I don't know, I think it was like in 2000 and something. But it's really awesome and it has a lot of cute craft ideas. Like just information on each of the historical character. Like some projects. Like how to write a letter of protest. That's from Felicity. How to have a Fandago, which is like in Josephina's stories, like a celebration. Lots of different things in there. That was really awesome. I got that at Half Price Bookstore for like three dollars, I think. That was really cool. And here is another book that has like really pretty pictures in this one. I think it's a song. But it has a lot of cool historical art. Very cute. I really love all of the historical books they used to come out with. I don't know when then this one was made. Oh, 2002. Like all of the 2000 books are really awesome and I love that. Here are true stories. And another Girl Mini Lands. Let's see. Here's Fun With Your Doll. And I got this for 50 cents. And it's just, it came with, it used to come with the, um, I think the My American Girl or Just Like You, they used to call them. Of like lots of cute things you can do. Like make jewelry and there's pancakes. Like I made once, but with felt. And just some hairstyles and other little cute things how you can play with your doll and just some other here's a writing one I really like teaches you and just some other mini books and here's another one that's like the Molly scrapbook except it's Samantha's and it has a lot of Little things you can like take out. That, that's, like that's Morse code. Because it's supposed to be she's on an ocean liner, like on a ship traveling with Uncle Guard. 
very fun. I love these books so much and I really recommend them. If you can ever find any, I know Kit has one too and I've looked for the Kit one before. But it's Samantha's and Molly's. I really recommend these. They're so much fun. And Beatrix Potter. I love Beatrix Potter. And just some notebooks and my mini notebooks and writings that I've done. Next we have Kit's World. My friend got this for me. The cover. I love how it can move back and forth between it. I can't do it again. <laughs> but this book is a flat book and just an interactive kind of book. It has a lot of information about the Great Depression and a lot of history. And it's just really fun. And at the back of the book, we have Kit's treehouse. This kind of needs a little bit of adjusting. <laughs> Which I love that. And it's really cool because I think even you could play with it with the mini dolls. Very fun. And it just folds back in there. And then we have Welcome to Addie's World. So I found this at a yard sale. And it's just a historical, all about her time period and about slavery and, and everything. That's a good book. And here's Christmas Crafts. Really like that one. And just all of my little knickknacks and things I made this once. And here are Molly's Paper Dolls. This, um, I think is from like, to the 2000s too. If I can undo this. I don't know what that is. <laughs> little piece of paper. But these are wooden. They're really cool because they're wooden. You can play with the scene, which is her classroom, and you can put stickers. I used to play with this a lot. Okay, let me find. So it's like you can set it up. Really, really cool. I love that. Oh no! Oh, there you go. There's a bunch of stuff in there. <laughs> And Hope has the Josephina one of that. That was when we only had Molly and only Josephina. We only had two dolls. Yep. And I think that's about it. Just a bunch of my notebooks and different things. I'm trying to think. Oh, these are just some doll dining in here. But that's about it. And there you go. Thank you so much for tuning in and looking at all of my American Girl books with me. I would love to know what your favorite American Girl book is, so leave me a comment below, and I will see you next time for a brand new video.